Thank you for your interest in Case Western Reserve University's presentation of our online, rich media training site for PeopleSoft Enterprise Student Administration. What you're about to see is a brief demonstration of the site's features and functionality. If you have any questions about this demonstration, please contact erptraining at case.edu. Welcome to online training for PeopleSoft Enterprise Student Administration at Case Western Reserve University. This user-friendly site allows you to select demonstrations on just the sections of the system that apply to you. And you can watch at whatever pace works best for you. So let's get started. The first step is to choose the type of resources you use by selecting the Faculty, Student, or Staff button. Your teaching schedule is front and center in the Faculty Center. As you can see, it lists all classes that you teach during the current semester. Starting at the left of the screen, you can see the course subject and catalog number, then the title of the course, the number of students enrolled, the days and times for which it's scheduled, the room in which it's scheduled, and the start and end dates of the class. You can click on the course subject and catalog number to see the course catalog and schedule description of the class. If you want to see your teaching schedule for a past or upcoming semester, click the Change Term button and select the term you wish to see. If you'd like to download your teaching schedule to an Excel file, you can do that easily by clicking the Download button. Before doing that, though, first make sure that your Internet Browser's pop-up blockers are turned off. See our video on pop-up blockers in the PeopleSoft Basics and Tips section for directions on doing that. Click the Download icon and follow your browser's directions for opening or saving a file. Open the downloaded file to see your teaching schedule in Excel. Sometimes the easiest way to remember a student's name is by connecting it to their face. The system contains all students' photos from their ID cards. You can access the pictures of students in your class by clicking the Include Photos and List radio button in your class roster. Because of the size of the photos, you'll only see one student's photo when you first click the radio button. You can see every student's photo at once by clicking the View All link. Return to the view of just student names by clicking the Link to Photos radio button. If you want to see just one photo of a specific student, click the photo icon in the photo column of the class roster. If you have students enrolled in one of your classes, you'll see this class roster icon to the left of the class. Click it to see a list of your students enrolled in your class. You can see each student's ID, name, the units being attempted for this class, the program and plan in which the student is enrolled, the student's level, and expected graduation term. You can print your class roster and also download it to an Excel file. To print a copy of your roster, click the Printer-Friendly Version button at the bottom of the page. An easily printable version of your class roster appears. To download your class roster, click the Download button, but first make sure that your internet browser's pop-up blockers are turned off. See our video on pop-up blockers in the PeopleSoft Basics and Tips section for directions on how to do that. Click the Download icon and follow your browser's directions for opening or saving a file. Open the downloaded file to see your class roster in Excel. The system gives you the option of emailing students in your class roster directly from within the roster itself. If you're going to email your entire class, just click the Notify Listed Students button at the bottom of the page. When the email screen appears, all of your students' email addresses appear in the BCC field. 
If you need to email just a few students, the first thing you need to do is select their names from the class roster. Use the checkbox in the Select column to check off the appropriate students. Then click the Notify Selected Students button. Only the students you've selected will appear in the BCC field. You can also type in extra email addresses if necessary, like your teaching assistants. Your email address is in the To box as well as in the From box. This ensures that you get a copy of the email you sent in your own email inbox. Enter the subject of the email in the text of your email. There's even a spell check button that you can use before you send it. When you're finished, click the Send Notification button and your email is off to your students.